So I have to make things playful, full of play for me. Mm -hmm. So I played and riffed on the idea of the slash as a technology. It is a way to use um, diacritical marks um, and punctuation that can benefit the theory or the thinking. So in a sense it is conjunctive, it, it is rhetoric and composition, the slash works that way. It's also disjunctive in that it can, it can right. mm -hmm. um, be a devouter. Right. The undecidable part was that as a technology the slash can work as um, and I, I invoked the story of um, Abraham and Isaac from the Bible and the beginning of the scapegoat mechanism. The slash is the drawn knife. Um, the undecidable is whether he's going to have to sacrifice his son. No, the scapegoat is on the other side. So that introduced for me a way to talk about um, the power of a line that's angled this way. Now, interestingly later, you know, I find that there are many other ways that that has happened. Like Ulmer does it in his apparatus theory in electricity, where you have the true, false, right, wrong axes. Mm -hmm. He does the pain pleasure yep. this way. Mm -hmm. So it is an axis in a way that uh, cuts across our traditional grid, mm -hmm. syntagmatic, paradigmatic, true, false, right, wrong yeah. kind of thing. And the slash is a way to interrupt those binary dichotomies. I hyphenate some, some things stylistically for a reason. Mm -hmm. I use slashes sometimes for different reasons. And as a technology, I had to respond and answer to my copy editor when, I was, when my book was in production mm. because she was constantly asking me, sometimes you do this <laughs> with a hyphen, sometimes <laughs> you italicize part of the word and sometimes you use a slash. Why? And can we not be consistent? I said, okay, here's my answer. Sometimes I hyphenate a word because I want to slow us down mm -hmm. when we say it in our head. I want the reader to say um, trans disciplinary and hyphenate it. Or sometimes I will italicize part of the word because I want to highlight, uh, I want you to um, hear it differently, or emphasis. 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 And the slash is a technology to show an etymological origin that you're, you have forgotten about, this sort of abstract, the Latin um, origins of the word abstract. Abstraction is about distancing yourself, pulling away from something, and that mm -hmm. was the original, the ab and the stract. So um, the, the hyphen and the italicization and the slashes are working in ways that I want the reader to slow down, hear something differently, or see an origin that has been forgotten. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to be firm about that. I'm not going to give in.